Praise the Lord, family. Praise the Lord. 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 Good morning, saints of God. Let the redeem of the Lord say so in the sanctuary this morning. It's good to be in the house of the Lord another day, another moment, another second, another breath. In Jesus' name. I just wanted to start off this morning as a Occasionally, I do from time to time with the Word of God. Do you know how I put some word in the atmosphere? Put the word on it. Put the word on it. As I was uh, meditating and just thinking about what to what to say, um, these scriptures came out to me, and it gave like a command, and, and one of it was to sing, to proclaim, and declare. So I'm coming out of First Chronicles chapter 16, and I'm going to be skipping through. Ready? And it reads, O oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him. Sing praises and psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his name, his holy name. Let the earth of the people rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done. And then verse 23, it says, Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare the glory among the nations, his wonders among all the peoples. For the Lord is great, great and be. greatly to be praised. Come on. He is also to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Yes. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Eternal Heavenly Father God, we thank you, Father God, for another day. We thank you that the heavens, the earth, and everything beneath declares your glory. Father God, we proclaim with boldness that you are God, you are Lord, you are Father, you are majesty, you are splendor, you are dominion, and you are to be glorified, Lord. We glorify you on this day forevermore and say this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, God. We thank you, God, for health and strength. We thank you, God, for not only waking us up this morning, but you started our day and started us on our way. Lord, if it had not been for you that was on our side, where would we be? Where thank would you, we God. Be? What would we do, Lord? Thank you, God. We just want to thank you, God, and acknowledge, God, that we are just so grateful. We come into your house, your sanctuary this morning with a heart of gratitude and a heart of thanksgiving. Thank you, God, for just another day to be in the land of the living. You are God. You are everything. You are all that we need, God. And we want your presence, Lord. We invite you into our service this morning. We surrender our hearts to you yes, God. in Jesus' name. Lord, that if there's anything in us, any weights, anything that we're carrying, Lord, we ask that you would remove it right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. That we would surrender all to you, God. That we will have a true heart of worship, a heart of praise, a heart of thanksgiving, a heart of just being grateful, God, because you are with us, God. You didn't leave us, Lord, but you took care of us, God. You picked us up, God, Lord. You breathe into us. We are here by your grace this morning, God. Your unlimited grace, God. Your divine grace, God. Your grace and your mercies led us this morning, God. We thank you, Lord, that your mercies endure forever and they cover us going to and from. As we come into our service this morning, Lord, let us increase and let you increase in us, God, that your presence will be felt. Fill this room. Fill this sanctuary. Fill this building. Right now, God. Jesus, God. Move in this house this morning like you've never moved before because we have an expectation to see you like never before. We thank you, God, for your word. We thank you for our pastor.
pastures. We thank you, God, that we have a place that we can call your refuge. We thank you, Lord. We ask God in Jesus' name, for those that are here this morning, God, that you would touch meat right at the point of victory and the point of the cross, Lord. For those that could not be here this morning, Lord, you know where they are. You know what they stand in need of. You know who they are, God. We ask that you would touch them and meet them right now in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Heal, set free, and deliver, God. That they would be in their right minds. That they would have peace. That they would have life more abundantly. But most of all, that they would come to know you if they don't know you, Lord. Send your arms and hands and send it for your people to speak a word in season, instant. And out of season, Lord. Yes, God. That they would know that this is a God that loves them, that created them, that desire to have a relationship with them, Lord. Just meet the need, Lord, in Jesus' name. Jeez. Because, God, we know of nothing else. You are faithful, you are consistent, and you are always coming after us, Lord. So, God, go into the hospitals, go into the streets, go into the subway stations, go into the bus terminals, go into the mental institutions. Go, Lord, that they may see and know that you care. And that you love them, God, and you have not left them, Jesus. And God, we thank you right now for the word that will go forth today in the sanctuary. We thank you for the speaker. We ask that you would touch her right now in Jesus' name, God. As you prepare our hearts to receive, Lord, let everything that we do in this house today be glorifying to you, God. That it will be a sweet, stunning savor unto your nostrils, God. And we thank you forevermore that we came in one way, but we will never be the same because of your word, because of your worship, because of you, Lord. We give you glory, honor, and praise and said, let it be done, God. In Jesus' name that I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. To God be the glory for another day. Yes. And I love it because it says, sing, proclaim, and declare. Oh my God. So I don't know about you, but I came to sing praises to the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit this morning.
Yes, God. We are triumphant people. That we are people of God. And we are the children of the Most High God. And if God be for us, there's nothing that's going to be able to come up against us in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that when that word goes forth today, that it will be a word that will transform and renew us. And we came in one way, but I decree and declare we will walk out in victory, we will walk out in power, we will walk out in you from on high. With Holy Ghost bonus, and we will share the word, share the goodness of God. That we will walk in our right minds in Jesus' name. And we have the mind of peace in Christ on the inside. And I thank you, Lord, that your word will never come back void and it will do what it was created and set to do in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, that you are our Father, our Father. You are our God. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare that it is so. And it is well. It is well. It is well. It may not seem like it, but Lord, And that plan is to give us a hope and a future in you. Yes. So we thank you that it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. And all of God's people say amen, 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 amen. 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 Sometimes you just got to put it out there and put it in. Because yes. sometimes we come in with, you know, some heaviness and we come in. But we get, but when we praise him and we get on the same accord and we decree and declare it shall be established. The enemy got to go. He got to lead us out of here. Speak he it. He don't get no victory. He's underneath our feet. Dominion and authority to do so and the free and the free that it is so in Jesus' name. Yes. So I think that if we're going to bless God today, amen? Yes. amen? Amen, amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord as I ask our praise and worship team to come forward at this time. And bless us, y'all. Bless, bless us. Because he's an everlasting God. Thank amen. you. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Sunday morning worship. We ask that you all would stand and join us. And we want to give glory and honor to the name of our God. Um, our elder Mel has exhorted us, but now it's time for us to just press in. Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Yes. Forever you are the same. And we want to magnify the name of the Lord in this place today. And so from your mouth to God's ears and to his heart. Is your worship and your and your honor I see them. Amen. 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 Amen.
feel something coming. I feel something coming. I feel it. To God, give him the glory.
Yes, God. Y'all better say.
You got to lick the bowl. And licking the bowl, man, that was that was the treat. That was the thing. That was the joint. But what happened was licking the bowl was just a taste of what that thing was going to be. All I'm saying to you here today, why I'm super excited, is that it's still healing, permeating in this place from Wednesday night Bible study. See, sometimes if you do like Jonathan McGriddle said, I will make room for you. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own head. Get out of your own well, I, 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 I think I gotta be so full. No, you sometimes you gotta be cuckoo for cocoa Paul for Jesus. Right? So we all gonna understand that because when that lemon meringue pie come out, see you just had a taste. Wednesday you just had a taste. And I can't wait to hear what the word is today. Despite the vessel, there's a different vessel that's coming today, and I'm excited about the word because I know what's in here. And I want each and every one of you as you prepare, as we, as we go up to the worship leader, to praise and worship, to yes. listen, this is not a football game. I don't need to pump y'all up. I shouldn't have to pump y'all up. I hear Cam over there excited as any 80-year-old person I've ever been around. Yes. This man of God is excited yes. for the word of God. You can't, you can't manipulate that. You can't teach that. Yes. In, in, in that 13 hour you can. In that 12-year-old spirit. It's bubbling over. My man of God, my, my nephew came up to him and said, Pastor, you need to give that boy a mic. Well, he don't have a mic because he's up here singing with him every week. He knew every word. You cannot teach that. You can't cultivate it. It's in him. And all I'm saying to y'all today is, if you really want to be, be free, if you really want to see God really move in your life, sometimes you got to stop worrying about what other people think. Sometimes you gotta just let go and let God. Sometimes you just gotta say, guess what? Wednesday night was a little bit uncomfortable for some of us, but I know what God told me. God said, push pause to, uh, on a whole Bible study, and, and healing is gonna take place. And we dealt with the condition of a heart on Wednesday night. But it was uncomfortable because you had to come into agreement with what God said, but then you had to say something. Amen. So it's the same way today. Y'all better get excited about the word. Let's give God 30 seconds of a hand raise. Real quick. 30 seconds of a hand raise. Give God the highest praise. Give God the highest praise in here. Give God the highest praise in here because we're preparing for something. God is going to land you into a place that you never thought you'd be because you're obedient to Him. It don't take the pastor coming to lay on hand. It don't take you coming up to the altar and you have to say a certain thing. God holds your spirit in your heart. Get ready. Get ready. Prepare yourself. Make room for God. Put everything else aside for the next hour, hour and a half, however long we're here. And I'll let God do what he said he's going to do. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Oh, I'm excited to hear you today. Tag me in.
And if we still use the postal service like some of us may do, um, it is P.O. Box 823, Bear Delaware, 19701. Amen? Amen. And we want to accept less time, and that is a part of our worship as well. And as we are filling that out, how many are ready for the word? Yeah. Um, my young people that I remember, as they are here as well, we will talk about, everybody bring your sword. Yes. What's yes. the sword? What's the sword? What's the sword? The word. The sword is the word of God. Amen. And we are Bible reading, Bible teaching, laying your eyes on the word of God. We want to make sure that everyone has a Bible. If you don't have one, please lift your hands up and make sure that you have have a Bible. And we will also be dismissing the children, the children's church. My baby's over there doing the signals. <laughs> We're going to dismiss our children for children's church at this time as well. And as they're going to learn the word, because that's what they're going over here to do. They're not just in there um, playing around, but they're getting the word. Learning that word, baby. Learning that word. Training about the way that they should go when they're old and they won't depart. They are getting the word over there, and they're learning, and they're learning, and they're growing. Amen? Amen. And as we are preparing to have the speaker come up, I actually had the opportunity to, to, to pick the speaker as I usually do. And sometimes I get, you know, an instant phone, you know, pick up the phone. Sometimes it takes us, you know, a little bit. I'm like, oh, goodness, here comes Miss and she's calling again. Uh, but in this case, it was a blessing because the response to the was a blessing. And when I was thinking about this woman of God, and I said, well, what? How do I even put this into words because I've had the pleasure of knowing her for so many years. And rather than passing or in our capacity of serving together, she's always been just an encouragement, an encouragement and just a blessing. And what came to me when I thought about her was two words, excuse me, and that was quiet strength. Yes, yes, God, yes. Quiet strength. So I looked it up because I wanted to make sure that I had that definition correctly when I heard it and wanted to make sure I was able to put it forth. And it says, it can be characterized as an unwavering resilience, boundless empathy, mm -hmm. abundant kindness, yeah. and persistent optimism. Nice. Wow. Nice. She demonstrates strength and humility Amen. all at the same time. Yeah. And I could not think of anyone else that Truth could to describe God. our speaker for today. You don't get to hear her say a whole lot of words, and sometimes you see her in passing. But she's praying. Yes, yes. always. She's always. interceding. She comes in behind the scenes and yes. blesses when others don't know. She not only blesses the whole house, but she just she's a blessing. When you get into her presence, you feel peace, and you feel that strength. And even if it's in the bathroom in her cleaning, and she stops and just smiles, it's strength there. Amen. And so I'm so honored and so blessed to even just be in her presence and just to know what that really looks like and how that describes her. But it is that quiet strength that she displays, not just sometimes, but all the times. Even though she has to leave and she has to go. Yes. So I just want to take a moment to introduce to you to some, and for those that don't know, our very own evangelist, Dolores. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Bless us, woman of God.
Your car is the vehicle, and yes, I gave it to you to get people to and from. But it's My also God. to get you to places where you need to go. Yes. Places where the people can't come to get to you, so you must go to them. Yeah. I put people in your path to test you, and you have not stepped up to the test. You can't be selective as to who you will help. Wow. They all need help. Wow. Get back to the bold, wow. the person you were. Nothing frightened you, and you didn't care who was around you. Yeah. And then he took you, he reminded me, there was a guy, um, I used to do the census last, I think it was last year, or the year before, and one day when I was out um, doing the work, there was a man, he was bent over, and he was trying to get up, and he was having trouble, and I just stopped the car, and I went over him. And I was talking to him, and he was saying that he was having trouble with his back. He couldn't stand up. So I laid my hands on him, and I prayed for him. And he said he felt better than he had felt in months. My God. So bring, bring back that spirit. I know I raised you up. You are able to do all the things because it is not you, but it's not you, but me working inside of you. That's right. So get back, get back. No more excuses. Uh -huh. I have put my words in your mouth, so just open your mouth and speak. I had vacation this week, and um, I was doing things around my house, and I was trying to work on. Um, I've got. I had two little critters under my bed. I had a skunk, and I had a groundhog. Yep. I was yep. able to get rid of the groundhog, but the skunk keeps coming back. It's like. It's like. Everything I try to do, it discourages him for a bit, but then he comes right back. And the same thing with um, with your goals and your sins, you have to deal with them from the root. You've got to get everything out, and if you don't get everything out, then it will keep coming back. And there's some, uh, I'm going to get rid of him. I'm not sure how. <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful. Because he's annoying. Sometimes sin can be annoying. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh my God! Yes. No, I was right on time. That was right on time. I hate needles. Even when I'm donating blood, I got to close my eyes and, and, and 
hurry up and do the bidding. But I was having words out of my mouth, and the lady was picking all of me. <laughs> and the whole time she was doing it, songs were coming to my mind. I was just singing songs and, and singing melodies and thinking, thinking, thinking about different things, trying to relax myself. And also the that piece, because I know once they got everything done, it would be fine. But needles and patience and peace, the songs are really great because they relax you, they encourage you, they comfort you. Everything you need, you can find in a song. Yes. And sometimes that's your ammunition. When you're that's right. Music, that's right. That's right. If that song in your heart, nothing can carry you, nothing can break you down. And so sometimes when I'm I get a little anxious, a little, somebody kind of like throws something at me, I'll think of a song. Sometimes, you know, when you're at work, sometimes people try to get on there. I'm going to say try to get on there because you have the ability to either let them get on your nerve or not let them get on your nerve. Right. And so when they try to get on your nerve, when they try to get on my nerve, then I'll start singing a song or a little bit or something. Next thing I know is gone because um, I'm not going to let somebody steal my joy. Amen. The world he tries to take your joy, but God says no, and you have control over that. So I'm thinking about that. Um, and then, like I said, for the trust, nobody can give you my time. Amen. Yeah. And I know sometimes it always seems like. Whatever we want, it seems like it takes so long to come to you or to for you to get it. But if you trust God and if you know He's been through or He's been with you yeah. in the past, yeah, then it's, it's easier for you to rely on Him and to wait on Him yeah. and to know, okay, Lord, I know you know that I need to do this bill paid, or I know you know that I need a job, or I know I need something fixed. He's going to bring it to you, but you've got to trust him, you've got to rely on him, you've got to let him work it out, because he's going to do everything in order before he gives it to, gives it to you. Um, I was also thinking about the songs that I sing when, in the morning. Um, sometimes you're tired, and I, I, I like to sing, um, Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. You had blessed me just the other day. I thought you worship you, praise you, with you on today. So that's one of the songs sometimes in the morning when I wake up and I'm tired. Because I work nights to get off at 11. And for some crazy reason, but not crazy, I'm a night owl. And so I don't go to bed right away. So in the morning when it's time to get up, <laughs> you're like dragging, you're like trying to put your feet out and get yourself together. So that little song helps me get energized and get, get up and moving. Amen. I'd like to turn to the uh, um, Why should we trust God? I'd like to turn to Proverbs um, 3. And it's going to be 1 to 5. And it says, my God, my child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart, for they will give you a long and satisfying life. Never let loyalty and kindness get away from you. Wear them like a necklace. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both God and people. You will gain a good reputation. Trust in the Lord Trust. with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Yeah. Seek his will in all you do, and he will direct your path. A lot of times we make decisions, and sometimes those are good decisions, but sometimes they're not God's decisions. That's right. So we've got to make sure that when we're, when we're trusting the Lord and we're, we're relying on him, that we're also making sure it's his plan and not our plan. Um, there were some things I thought I wanted to do. I'm not sure whether that was my plan, but so far it has 
actually come through. So sometimes when it's not your claim, it may not come through. But if it's God's claim, it's always going to work out. And when he says he's going to do something, rely on it. Because he doesn't lie. Um, he doesn't um, disturb you. But it's his timing. So trust me, and whatever you need, whatever you need, it, he will bring it for it. Father God, we thank you. Yes, God. We love you. Yeah. We praise you. Yeah. We give you all the glory, all the honor. That's all right. That's all right. You know my heart. So I ask for forgiveness. But I ask that you continue to bless everybody after this time of my voice. You know, each and every desire, every need. Everything that they stand in need of, Father God. And you're going to respect the person. What you've done for one, you do for others. So, Lord, we're thanking you for blessing anybody who's standing in need of a healing, Father God. In, in the name yes, of Jesus, yes, yes. that you touch their bodies, Father God. Remove all the all the broken parts. Restore everything that they have been damaged and help them to to, yes, to give you the glory for what you've done for them. If somebody needs a job, Father God, bless them with a job, Father God. Bless people with peace, Father God. Yes, yes. If they have children, give them the wisdom to know what to do and how to do with those children so that they will raise up little ones. Service for you, Father God, and we thank you for that. We ask that you continue to bless our pastors. We ask that you to continue to bless your family. And Lord, we put up short. Excuse me. We ask that you continue to help us to continue to grow. And we thank you, Lord, for bringing new members of the north, the east, the south, and the west. Lord, we'll be sure to give you all the glory and all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
our God-given gifts and talents and ingenuity and innovation to participate in and to contribute to the body of Christ. And so first we want to recognize and welcome Brother Marquis Jones. Anniversary, church anniversary. Yeah. 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 Y'all 
tickets. Get y'all tickets. September the 30th, we will have our celebration. Pastor Eddie Reeves is coming down from New Jersey. And Lorette Brown Clark is going to be the psalmist for our service. And we are going to have a meal. It's a dressy affair. Please don't go out and spend $15,000. But I just, nice little dress, nice little suit tie, whatever you like. Just because, you know, we, we get to have some 20 years. And we special. be out with each other. And it's a 20 year anniversary. So it's special to us because uh, God has brought us through many, many ups and downs and ins and outs. And, you know, He's faithful. So we want to honor God. So we're going to have the word, the preached word. We're going to have a meal that we want to be fed with in our spirit. We're going to be fed in our body. And we're going to be fed again in our spirit because we'll have um, the ministry, the music ministry of Marette Brown Clark. Tickets are $50. We have um, still tickets left. Please get your ticket. Uh, sister, uh, Minister Lakeisha is not here today, but if you see Elder Mel, you can get your ticket so that we can just celebrate, okay? Yeah. It's a blessing that God has done this, this, this long with us, and we trust him to continue, all right? Yeah. Invitation. Invitation. Okay. And so with that being said, we have been so blessed that God has been adding to us. Because I perceive that there's work to be done. And there's some more people that he sent with giftings to Amen. participate in the work that we're doing here at Perfect Will. If there's anyone here who wants to be a member of Perfect Will Ministries, this is a time that you can just please stand and let us know your intention. For those of you who don't know, this bright, smiling face is yes. Sister Karen, and uh, she's been visiting with us for about a month, and God has moved upon her heart to become a part of Perfect World Ministry, so we thank God that she's here. Amen. Awesome. We just ask um, the uh, Perfect World Leadership to come just to welcome her, and then... Well, 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 well,